Hi, I'm Steve, head gardener here at David Austin Roses, and today I'm going to show you how to plant a bare-rooted rose. Bare-rooted roses can be planted between November and the end of April, as long as the ground isn't frozen or too waterlogged. What you'll need to plant a bare-rooted rose is a spade, a fork, some car soil improver, the bare-rooted rose, a container with water, some mycorrhizan fungi, a watering can and a pair of gloves. The first thing that we need to do is to rehydrate our rose in a bucket of water for a minimum of two hours. So next we need to uh, remove any uh, weeds uh, by forking the soil over and if there's any large stones we can remove that at the same time. We just dig over the ground make sure there's no weeds left in the surface. So this is now ready for digging our hole for our bare rooted rose. It needs to be about 16 by 16 inches. So you could just dig that round, something like this. The hole is dug, so we just break up the bottom of the hole with a fork, just to allow the roots to penetrate the uh, subsoil. So I like to just check to make sure that the uh, bare root's gonna fit comfortably into the hole, and that looks like it's gonna be fine to me. Plenty of room for the roots to move around. So the next step is to add some uh, car soil improver to your hole. I like to put a spade into the bottom and then a spade on either side of the hole. So two spadefuls of soil improver. If you can't get hold of the car's soil improver, you could use some well-rotted farmyard manure that's at least two years old. So you can remove the bare-rooted rose from the water, holding it over the hole and sprinkle the mycorrhizal over the bare roots. Placing the rose in the center of the hole the union should be two inches below the surface. The union of the rows is where the, the roots meet the stems just around here. And you can use a garden cane as a guide so you can make sure that the union is a couple of inches below the surface of the soil. Now we're ready to backfill with our soil. So we can just work some of that in around the bottom of the roots and this should just hold it in place so we can fill it back. Now we're ready to firm the bare-rooted rose in lightly with our foot, just to make it secure before watering. Watering is the final step of planting our bare-root rose. If you need any more advice on planting a bare root rose, let us know.